Okay guys, I'm going to show you what I'm doing. I am going to make a mirror. So this is just a plain mirror I got from Walmart, a piece of plywood that I had specifically cut. And then these are the beautiful tiles that I got from Lily Cement Tiles. And I'm going to be gluing the mirror to the plywood and then I'm gonna grout, um, well, do a tile adhesive for the tiles and then grout them. So it'll be like a really nice pretty mirror with uh, tiles all around it instead of just a plain like little six dollar mirror. So I'm gonna make it a little more fancy and I'll kind of show you guys the steps along the ways. Along the way. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is lay out the tiles and lay out my mirror onto the plywood. Right now I'm not gluing anything or doing anything. I'm just trying to get an idea of where it's gonna be and what it's gonna look like. I'm under the shade tree. It's kind of looking weird because the mirror, you're seeing a little bit of everything, but I'm under the shade tree, so I have a little bit of shade. So it is putting off a little bit of <laughs> spottiness. Um, but yeah, just trying to get a placement down to start off with. And I'll show you guys um, what it looks like after I get them all laid down. Are the supplies I'm using in case anybody needs them. So I stain or I sealed my tiles first with my stain proof sealer. This is the Acryl Pro for my tiles to put them on. Um, and then when you're ready to grout, this is the grout I used, rubber float, and this is the sponge to clean up the grout with a water bucket. Sponge roller I used to apply the stain proof sealer. Um, this is to put on the mirror onto the plywood. Right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and seal these tiles before I actually begin my project so that I don't get any fingerprints or anything on them. So this is the same sealer that I used on my table. It's stain proof dry treat. Yeah, so I got the first layer of my sealant on there. Um, just with my little roller. Okay, so I have the tiles where I want them. I have the mirror where I want it. I'm going to take the tiles off now, just one at a time, but leave the mirror. And then I'm going to mark it with a little pencil. So, I'll just take my pencil, mark the outline of where the mirror is going to be, and then I'll take everything off, lay some adhesive on the mirror. And that's what I'll start with. Okay, so as you can see, I have the outline of my mirror marked, and I'm going to use just some adhesive, um, something that's strong. You know, you could use liquid nails. I just didn't, this is what I had at home. Liquid nails would be a good option too. But I'm just going to apply that all inside the box here. And then I will probably run over it with like a squeegee or something like a metal scraper to like flatten it out a little bit so it's a little even. And just kind of spread it out. Placing that mirror on the plywood. After I have the adhesive on the plywood. Just being really gentle about it. Pro tile adhesive, my trowel, and I'm going to just do one at a time. Keep it simple since it does dry kind of fast. Um, anyways, just easier just do one at a time, and I have them all laid out, laid out exactly how I want them. Spacing is good. I'm not using tile spacers just because they are actually slightly thinner than tile spacers. So um, I had to be kind of precise since the mirror is a certain size. So yeah, most of the time I would use tile spacers. When you apply your tile, you do want to kind of wiggle it back and forth against the grooves. So my grooves were going this way. I'm going to go back and forth just to kind of get it to really adhere onto the plywood. Okay, there you go. On to the next one.
Okay, I got the tiles laid down. It looks so good. And then I can't remember, I'll have to look at the tub of adhesive. I can't remember if it's 24 or 48 hours that I have to wait to grout in between the cracks here. But when it is dry, I'm gonna grout it and then it will be finished and it is so cute. Six dollar mirror. Plywood was like maybe 20 bucks. And yeah, cheap. I got way too much, all this Acryl Pro, okay? Obviously I'm gonna have leftover for future projects, but that was $11 for that giant tub and that's all I used. So yeah, I could tile my bathroom wall with that now <laughs> or whatever I wanna do. But I know there's smaller ones, they just didn't have the small ones, they were out. So I did have to get a larger one. But anyways, I will um, come back tomorrow or the next day and do the grout. Hey guys, it's been 48 hours, so I'm gonna go ahead and lay the grout onto the gaps of my tiles. I have a sponge, a bucket of water, and then I have my grout. So, got everything ready to go. Um, and then I'm also gonna grab some paper towels. Make sure that you are working in small sections, do a little bit at a time, wipe off the excess grout on top as you go. It'll make it a lot easier. Okay. Let's I also have my rubber grout float. I'm gonna be using that to apply the grout. So I'm just gonna start by getting a small amount on your float, maybe like that much. I don't, I mean, that's plenty, okay? Um, taking my damp sponge before I start, and I'm just getting my tiles slightly damp so that it wipes off even easier. Ooh. Making a mess, per usual. Now I'm going to take my damp sponge, wipe off the excess grout. If you leave the grout on there, the only thing it's going to do, if you leave it on there too long, is leave a little bit of a haze. Um, if you accidentally do leave it on too long, it can be sanded off with 220 sandpaper and water. So just get your tiles really wet and then you can sand off any scratches or grout um, with the 220 sandpaper and water. Just make sure that you are using water um, with the sandpaper, otherwise it'll scratch your tiles, okay? There's a video on Lily Cement Tiles on their website, so if you get on there, they have a, a good video. Okay, and that's it. So I'm going to do that all the way around. Here, let me take this off so that I can show you guys kind of a close-up. Um, if you can see, yeah, so you can see the grout there in between the tiles. And I'm going to go ahead and do that to the entire mirror and then I will be done after it dries. Okay, so you can see on these tiles there's a few little stains because I left this outside for a couple days and it just naturally got some stains from dirt or whatever that blew up on it. So. Um, one thing you can do to get those out, like I said, is the 220 sandpaper, the really soft, fine sandpaper, and some water. So, when I'm done here, I'm just going to take my sander and some water and buff those out, and then I will apply another coat or two of sealer. Okay, this is not soapy water. I know it looks like soapy water, but it's just because um, the grout and me using the sponge over and over, it keeps kind of bubbling up. So wring out the excess, and then we're just gonna wipe off these two tiles we just did. 
Like I said, so much easier to wipe as you go. So that the grout doesn't have a chance to stick to the tile. Final project. So this is my mirror that I've been working on. Tiles are from Lily Cement Tiles and they're so cute.